tab we did not look at in the iCloud system preferences is the setup family. If you were going to set up a family sharing plan and this particular account was going to be the main account or what they call the organizer account, we would click on that icon. It comes up and it spins a little, tells you what family sharing basically is that you can share purchases, you know, apps, movies, books. You can share an Apple Music membership. You can have a photo album that you can share, you know, photos and videos. You can have a family calendar that you share. Um, that means each individual Apple ID can have their own access to, you know, a photo stream or a calendar or whatever, but the family can also have a spot to share. Pretty handy. And also family members can help other family members through location services with things like find my phone, find missing devices, and, you know, track each other's location for security purposes, which is actually very, very convenient. This particular account, we are not going to uh, allow this account to be the organizer. This is going to be part of a family sharing plan. If it was though, we could hit continue. We see the name of our account and it says, do you want to be the organizer for this family? Um, if that's the case, you hit continue and you have to basically accept a few things and you'll get to the point where you have to put in some payment information because at this point we have no payment information in for Apple for this particular account. So if I do hit continue, it will spin a little bit and it says add payment information. Now, at this point we're not going to because later we will accept an invite to be part of a family sharing plan. So we hit go back and there we are. Now, App Store. At this point, we have a Mac, we have an App Store, but we are not signed in. When we go to sign in, it asks for our password. We type in our password. We hit sign in. This Apple ID hasn't been used with the App Store. Review your account information. What they really mean is we need some payment information. But it's going to show you uh, basically how to complete this Apple ID because there are other things tied to your Apple ID. Your Apple ID does more than just iCloud. It takes care of your App Store and it also takes care of your iTunes. So by going here and hitting continue, it wants our name. It auto-filled it. Uh, I guess it wants to know a little bit more. I guess we'll be a mister today. And here is your payment information. We're going to hit none for the moment. Oh, we must hit complete the entire form. Okay. All right. It can sign in and do stuff even with no payment information at the moment. Just gave them a general idea of what our app uh, address and etc. is. <clears throat> so now up here under store, we'll see that we are signed in. Of course, we haven't purchased anything. We haven't really done anything, uh, but we can go to updates and we could update some apps if we desired to do that. iTunes has a store. It's obviously more than just music at this point. They want to give you a quick tour. I'll exit the tour. And our option is to sign into the iTunes store or just go to the iTunes store also at the top, you can see the account information and it, there's a sign in button because we're not signed in at all. So we will go ahead and pick sign in and we'll put our Apple ID here. There we go. Accessing iTunes store. So now this account is technically signed into iTunes. As we can see, from here and we could authorize this computer for purchases Apple Music whatever we've got going on I'm not gonna worry about that right now and we 
we are going to set up family sharing with another account that we have so we can experience family sharing, which is designed for us to share purchases and certain other things under iCloud and iTunes. So system preferences, we click on family sharing. Spins for just a little bit, tells you a little bit about what family sharing is, music, movies, apps, books, shared membership to Apple Music if you have one, uh, photo albums that can be shared, uh, including videos in those albums, uh, schedule events on a family calendar that you share, uh, location sharing, which is handy through like Find My Friends, and also helping people with Find My Phone that are in your family sharing plan. So we'll hit continue. This says, do we want to be the organizer for this family? We already have a credit card on file for this account in the uh, iTunes world, so to speak, iTunes store. So we can hit continue at this point. And it says purchases made with this Apple ID will be shared with your family. So basically any purchase done under this main Apple ID for this particular family account would be shared across everybody that's in or under that family account. We'll hit continue. Add a payment method. We'll click add. We'll click agree. So we are in iTunes. We're going to agree to their conditions. We're going to sign into the iTunes store. This will be the first time on this particular account that we've signed in to the iTunes store. So we type in the uh, Apple ID that we're actually using. And we type in the password. And we click enter to sign ourselves in. This Apple ID hasn't been used with the iTunes store. Review some information. We click on that. Agree to some terms and conditions. We'll be a mister here as well. Wants us to complete our Apple ID, which basically means it just wants the security code for this particular card. We'll type that in really, really quickly. So our Apple ID is completed. This is in the iTunes store. It says now we are able to basically do purchases. So we're officially signed into the iTunes store, ready to go there. And we can hit continue here. Share your location with your family. It's a handy thing. We use that frequently in my family. So we'll click share our location. So right now we are the only person in the family. We are the organizer for the family. We'll click add a family member, which is where we can enter their uh, Apple ID or we can create an Apple ID if we've got a child under 13 that does not not yet have one. So first things first, we will enter the other Apple ID that we want to be in this family sharing plan. So this is seventy eight ten is our other account at gmail.com. So this is both the email address and the Apple ID for the other person we're adding to the family. We'll hit next. Verify that you're the organizer. Can't add it unless you know this. Look, little piece of magic. And they have to enter the password for their Apple ID, which we can do right now. Or you can send them an uh, invitation and they can follow a link in the email to accept uh, that. So now there's a verification code coming. And the verification code is here. That is because two-step authentication or two-factor verification is turned on for the account. 
confirm some details, share the location of that person, hit the continue button, and now as you can see, we have another account under family sharing, both sharing purchases. This account could is set as an adult and could also be the checkbox for a parent and guardian so that they can basically approve requests for children that are under 13 for them to purchase things or whatever through the app store. So we'll click done. Now when I go to manage family, we see both of those. Now we can hit add yet again and we can create an Apple ID for a child that does not have an account. It's going to ask just a handful of things. Child's birthday. We will make a birthday happen for this awesome, awesome child of ours. Let's say our child was only born hmm, last year. Nah, we'll, we'll make our child born in 2010. We'll make their Apple ID something awesome like Notice we have a, a testy account, a test account, and a testier account. We'll give them a super awesome password too. And we have the option of allowing our child to see our location from their app or not. We'll just go ahead and allow that for right now. Hit continue. Do you want to com create computer ADD 7812 at iCloud.com? You can't change this email address after creating it. Perfectly fine. Again, we need to know this magic code, primarily for security purposes. Now, it wants security questions for our beloved child. So this is actually fairly easy set to set up. Their best friend, whoa. We'll just say their friend's name was Toby. And their dream job. Well, of course it's going to be to work here. And, oh my goodness. Game Center, Terms and Conditions iCloud terms and conditions for our child. Done and done. Agree, agree. And now we have a six year old on our plan. You can either allow them to buy whatever they want or have asked to buy checked. And then we can allow them to see our location or not. And we'll go ahead and allow that. So that is done. So when we go to manage our family now, we see the organizer, we see them, and we see them. That is all easy enough.